Hi, it's Gwen in the morning, also known as Queen of the Nap. Yes, I am a nap taker. It's Wellness Wednesday and we are back at the Sleep Center. This week we're talking about naps, one thing that I don't take for granted and take as many of as I can. Back with Chris and Sandra talking about naps. Please tell everyone how important it is to take a nap. Okay. Uh, tell naps. them I'm not wrong. No, you're not. You're absolutely, you, you, you're right. Taking naps. Uh, now, the number of naps <laughs> can be questionable. Uh, but I think, no, I, I think that if you take a nap, uh, take a good power nap. 15 to, uh, 15 to 30 minutes, preferably at a time after lunch, uh, and then not close to your bedtime. Uh, you know, so yeah, naps are good. Naps, uh, they, they relax your body, they get your body uh, rejuvenated, you know, however, however, whatever it is that you do, taking that little bit of time to rest and relaxation. Is well, and I read somewhere that it's also heart healthy to take a nap. Well, when you take, when you sleep, whether it be a nap or going to bed at night, your body restores itself. So if you're not sleeping, then you're not restoring your body. That's how people end up with blood, high blood pressure, diabetes, heart issues, depression, Sometimes stroke, uh, you, you start to do riskier things. Uh, get in a car, thinking you know if if I'm if I'm tired and I think I can make that that you know yellow light. I mean, you start your reaction time. You think you can cross whenever there might be. You start losing those you know those quicker responses. They start to get, to get sluggish. Uh, you know, a lot of people tend to um, to take those that those opportunities which are not good so that, that that's really why naps are, are pretty important if you can take a nap now uh, not being able to sometimes can be a difficult challenge but you know it does lead to a lot of a lot of different sleep sleep deprivation uh, you know can lead to a lot of things a lot of challenges on the body so. so when I get busted for taking a nap at work I can just tell them it's good for my health <laughs> you can tell them call Sandra she can explain it I wouldn't recommend you like I said at work taking like four or five naps <laughs> when come on now, you know I mean paying you to work not to sleep but just one I would probably be okay right uh, yeah Okay. Got to be a power nap. I have napping down to a science. I can pull it off in like 10 minutes. I wish I could do that. I'm not a nap taker. I don't, it's very, I take naps when I'm burnt out, when I am tired. I don't know about Sandra, but it is hard for me to take a nap. I can dream That's sleep in a power nap. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, I can't. Oh, yeah, I that, can. When you're dreaming, that, that means you're going into those later stages of sleep. <clears throat> now, if you're taking naps and you're still not waking up, restored, and, you know, it, you probably need to get checked for sleep obstruction or something that's coming you know and nap. sometimes I I sleep so deep during a nap I think God, I've been asleep for hours yeah because time passes when your eyes are closed and your body you you know visually you lose all of those visual things that keep you up and you know that's why I it's hard for me because when I do take a nap I feel the same way I, I can take a nap for two hours and it feels like I've slept for eight uh -huh. uh, but I was just really tired your body is deeply deeply that's why it's the opposite when you take when you go to bed at night sometimes you feel like man I just went to bed and now I'm already waking up because yeah when you sleep and you sleep hard those that those hours still go by you know and you just don't know it. So. all right there you have it I have medical clearance to take a nap <laughs>